Hello, welcome to What's Bubbling is Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take you through some odds and ends to updates in Zim 6.6.0. We've got a couple big ones coming up, but um, let's. Uh, we're going to show you three. One is a, an audio sprite preview. Um, one's hit test circles, and the other is a bar on the Zim pane. Okay, let's go into some code now. Uh, we've been showing you through the T-Bugs app, and this is using 6.6.0. We'll take a look in the view where we've loaded in an audio sprite. So here's audio sprite data. This was, um, this was put in the last version of Zim. So there's audio sprite data, and we're loading it in here with the load assets, audio sprite data, as well as some font. And then when we uh, want, we can say frame.load, oh, that was a different load assets on, um, on the backing MP3. But then when we want to play something, uh, that would be over in the controller. We could probably find somewhere in here where we've hit a play. Do you see one? Oh yeah, frame.asset happy.play. So that will uh, play happy, which happens to be in the audio sprite at, uh, from a starting point here and an ending point there. Okay, uh, now I wanted to apply these sounds that I have here to uh, a bunch of different things, button clicks and you know, completes and you know various other things like that. And I was actually using a set of sounds from another game. And I wanted to be able to play these easily so that I could then, uh, you know, choose which one and, and name it here. So change a name in here and choose it, that kind of thing. But there isn't an easy way to play those. Um, so uh, what I did is went into the code and built an easy way to play them, just uh, throwing them into some tabs. And because that was so easy and fun, uh, we've given them to you in Zim. So Zim dot preview audio sprite is now available and you pass in the audio sprite data and what that will do is it will make tabs for you and just throw those tabs on the stage so let's save that and open in a browser oh not the view in a browser um, the index file in a browser open browser so there it is it makes a bit of a mess of it up here but there are the sounds. Now, because they don't all fit in, um, you can specify how many letters you want to, to show on the tab. But that was enough letters to, to get me to, you know, come back in here into the view and say, oh, it's uh, this one, or, you know, the order of them as well is there. So that was that was quite handy to have. And then when you're when you're done with those, you can just comment that, that out in the bottom. So that was one thing to show. Another thing is the, and now they're gone, is hit test circles. So we have a circular bug and circular cups here. And what we wanted to do, you actually have to go in and hit the cup there, but I hit play and as it goes there, it's just done a hit test circle and um, returned around. Uh, this one's got a normal hit test picking up those sugar cubes and is about to hit a test circle there and there's a little invisible circle here so the hit test circle is ah let's stop this thing the hit test circle is a faster hit test because it's an equation so it's not based on um, uh, a point and colors like uh, hit test circle is hit test circles. Have I been saying hit test circle? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, hit test circles, the new one, is a faster hit test. Um, hit test circle is actually checking a bunch of points around a circle if it's hitting the shape of something else. But if you have two circular objects, hit test circles is now the fastest way um, to accomplish a hit test there. So let's uh, take a look, and that's in the controller somewhere. Um, uh, here's one. Okay, so we're looping through the cups, and each time we get a cup, and then we're checking to see if the bug dot hit test circles the cups brim, and the cups brim is the the circle um, inside, like right around the cup rather than around the saucer. So that's one there. Uh, here's another hit test circles right here um, to find out if the bug is hitting the end, which happened to be a circle as well. Um, that kind of thing. 
So in the cubes, we're doing a hit test reg on the cubes. Uh, the cube is square, first of all, and we decided that the bug, if the shape of the bug um, goes over the registration point of the cube, which is in the center, then it's a hit test. So hit test circles is a new faster hit test, super duper. And the last thing I wanted to show you, we'll go back out to the, the app here, is uh, the pane has a new bar. So there's a bar on the pane there with an X that comes with it and a label. And uh, not only that, just before I forget, the pane also traditionally had been a, a darker background and you could set the alpha of the darker background. I've now slightly garish, but let's see if I like it or not. I've now let you change that color. Like it's now a backdrop color. And if you want to make the alpha, then you would go um, RGB A in there and set the alpha yourself. But you're given the ability to set the color of the backdrop now of the pane so that you can do a lighter backdrop like this. Uh, but the bar, let's see how we do the bar. Okay, so that's back in the view. And here's a pane right here. And there we are, bar. Now, if you just said some words, uh, well, okay, I guess I can do it. Word, like that. So the bar is word on this on save pane. Bar says word. Bar color is frame.green. And the close button is true. So we save that and refresh here. And go into the edit mode and hit test. Now it says Word. So there would be your default, just a dark text up there on the bar. And uh, if you want to adjust that, then we can undo. You can pass in a new label. So we have a new label here that says Save, has color, and also bringing in a custom font. And now it looks like this. There we go. Okay, so those are three uh, little tidbits um, that are quite nice as to what's bubbling in Zim 6.6.0. I'm inventor Dan Zen here at zimjs.com. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying building with Zim and uh, please like the video if you like it and share like you care. Woohoo. <laughs> hey, good line. Ciao.